<laughs> Chris. <laughs> A-Hole Productions. We know each other so well, don't we? Lance. Well, we've always been each other's greatest nemesis. This is Psy. Nemesis. What, what's the plural on that? Nemesis. Whatever. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Nemeseek, and today we're going to wrap up our quick three videos that I'm making about TGS 2020, at least here on Saturday. We have another video we'll probably make after tomorrow's presentation. I'll be at work all day tomorrow and Monday, so I don't know when these videos will go up. They'll probably already be, you know, like the presentation probably already happened by the time this goes up, but just letting you know when I'm recording these. Uh, this is Saturday morning. I'm going to be going to work soon, and I just wanted to knock these out and talk about a couple different topics of Resident Evil Village and just get your perspectives on them. Uh, that's mainly what I'm doing these for is uh, I, I found these three topics interesting enough to want to hear what people might think of them who watch this channel and also trying to grow my my Resident Evil content on this channel and try to follow uh, some news on games uh, for Resident Evil because I kept wanting to do that before and I just never uh, you know carried through with it. So now I want to kind of do more of that. So in this one we're going to talk not so much about character not so much about story with like the fairy tale stuff. In this one, we're going to talk about uh, what systems the, the you know this Resident Evil Eight Village game is going to release on. Uh, it seems like I mean for sure it's going to be PS Five and Xbox uh, Series X and S. Uh, so it's definitely next gen consoles. No arguments there. That's what they're kind of making it for. But then at the end of their presentation yesterday on Friday, they mentioned that they're doing a PC build. For the game, uh, which makes sense because obviously it would come out on PC as well. Um, but and we still have a release date for this, so we don't know what you know when this game is coming out. But Resident Evil 25th anniversary is March of next year of 2021, so maybe they'll release it right before the anniversary or maybe right after. I know that Monster Hunter Rise comes out on the 26th of March, which is like four days after the 25th anniversary of Resident Evil. So I don't think it'd be smart of them to release two major titles so close together. Not that there's probably a ton of crossover of fandom in those two, um, but still, like sales-wise, they're going to want you know as much you know less overlap as possible. So I'm thinking maybe Resident Evil might get an earlier release date, maybe hopefully a, a February release date. Uh, that would be great. Um, some people are hoping for January, obviously, because some Resident Evil games have released in January. I think it was Resident Evil 2 remake and Resident Evil 7 did, but Resident Evil 3 released in April. So I'm a little worried that it might get an April or May release date, you know, closer to summer. But we'll see. Uh, hopefully they announce that tomorrow. And if so, you know, then we have that information. I'll make a video on it soon. But uh, so we know it's on next gen consoles. We know it's on PC. But at the end of their, uh, you know, their presentation, they said, we can't make any promises, but we are going to try to have a team work on this to, uh, to get a version for the PS4 and the Xbox One. So I imagine there's going to have to be a little bit of downgrading on it uh, to an extent. Obviously, it's not it's you know it's built for next gen consoles, so the power that's needed to run the game you know is is that. But uh, but but the, and I also think they said something about having no load times in the next gen versions, so that that could it could affect the game a little bit if they try to downgrade it. And if it if it ruins the integrity too much of the game, they're not going to want to put out a subpar um, you know version of it just to appease people you know who have the who don't have the next gen consoles which you know it's a bummer for me because i just don't have the money right now for a next gen console i was trying to get that xbox one s for 25 bucks a month but you know it sold out and it you know you know whatever booked out so so i if i'm going to get xbox one s now i'm going to have to pay the full price and i'm just not going to have 300 bucks to spend on something uh, like that anytime soon um even if we got another stimulus check i don't think i could afford it so so i won't have a next gen console probably uh, if the game comes out in January or February, I won't have one by then, but maybe by March or April I will because, you know, I could do my taxes and maybe use some money from that to get a next gen console. So they're trying, they understand people are in financial, you know, strapped, financially strapped in, in a lot of areas in the world. And they understand that they, you know, we want to, and not everyone's going to be able to upgrade right away to the new systems. So they're working on it. They said they're working on it. They can't promise anything, but they are working on it. To hear them even try is is really awesome with them they don't really have to do that but uh it's great to hear them saying hey we're trying we're going to do our best and we'll if we can get it out there we'll get it out there for you no problem but you know but we got to work on it it's going to take a lot of hard work and a lot of man hours and, and people to work on it so we're doing our best so just to hear it though made me feel good that they're at least trying but i want to hear your thoughts you know are some of you getting xbox uh one s's and x's 
Uh, do any of you have it pre-ordered already or to have it guaranteed? Uh, do any of you have PS5s pre-ordered already? Are you planning on getting any of those before the holidays? You, do you think you'd be ready if this game came out in January or February? Do you think you'd be ready to play it on a next-gen console at that time? I just want to hear your thoughts. Or, or are you like me? Are you in my situation where you just you can't upgrade right now? And probably can't upgrade for the next like four or five months, maybe six or seven months even. So uh, if that's the case, let me know down below too. Do you, would you like this to come out on the PS4 and an Xbox One, um, even if it means the game is just slightly... If it's just graphically a little less, that's fine with me, as long as the story and the way it's meant to be told is all there and they didn't have to compromise on that. So let me know what you think of Resident Evil possibly coming out for the older are the current gen consoles uh, let me know if you like that and let me know your thoughts on them uh you know obviously excited for them coming out on next gen consoles i can't wait to play them on next gen consoles one day but i'm okay with playing them on current gen consoles if capcom can release them on current gen because i'll get them now and then when i buy a next gen console i'll buy the next gen version probably because i don't know if it'll upgrade naturally like on its own because i think there's some games are having problems with that already on ps5 uh, and stuff so We'll see. But let me know your thoughts, and we'll continue our conversation down in the comment section below. Thanks for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in Raccoon City. Peace.